All right, man, looks like the city of Valdosta cases are first up this evening. Looks like you have two on the agenda for tonight. Your first one this evening is CU 2018-03, Mount Camera Baptist Church, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a conditional use request by Mount Calvary uh, for an expanded church facility, probably consisting of two parcels. The street address is 505 East 4th Street. Um, this is an existing church which has been there for a long time. Um, you see the zoning is R6, um, which is indicative of much of the surrounding zoning patterns of the area. Uh, feature development map, it is established residential. And in the aerial, this is from over a year ago, but it shows the existing facility with parking and rooftops. Um, the existing buildings total about 5,900 square feet of floor area. Uh, the proposal is to add a sanctuary addition. Um, they're believing about 6,000 square feet. However, this site plan, which is also in your packet, shows a floor area of 7,500 square feet in terms of building footprint. Um, they're engineering site designers and they're just a maximum footprint of what could be accomplished there. Um, based on what they believe the seating capacity will be of the sanctuary addition, it, this site plan does show enough parking to accommodate that use and meet the minimum requirements. Um, in your packet, we give a description <coughs> area. You see the zoning patterns. This is sort of the border between residential pattern along North Fleet Street and properties to the east. And then to the west, you see the commercial zoning, uh, which is indicative of the Ashley Street corridor. And those are the backyards of commercial properties. Um, subject property, the church has been there for several decades. It's been slowly growing. And then this is the view from Lee Street. That vacant side yard is the um, proposed location of the sanctuary addition. Um, parking lot, which is that separate parcel to the north. And then adjacent properties. These are the view on the west side of Lee Street, so in the back side of some commercial buildings. And then around it, you have residential uses. This is the house immediately to the south. And then other properties adjacent to the rest of the church property. Um, in your packet, staff is recommending approval of this with two conditions. They are the first one approval shall be granted for a church facility in R6 zoning for a building signed to exceed a cumulative total of 15,000 square feet. All applicable development standards of the LDR regarding parking and building setbacks, etc., shall be followed unless separate variance approvals are obtained. Number two, conditional use approval shall expire after 10 years from the date of approval if no request for a building permit has been submitted by that date. By the answer any questions you may have. Just one question for myself. Uh, do you have it stated on here uh, what the existing total is? I mean, you get 5,900 square feet, and the map goes like this. 50, it's actually 5,892, but we'll call it 5,900. You add 7,500 to that. Um, you get 13,400, and the 15,000 is to give them a little extra cushion in case they find a way to add an additional building here, or perhaps even part of a second floor. And if, if it ever got to 13,400, the park is there to handle it? They would have to meet those standards as they went along in terms of their expansion. <clears throat> and of course, when they submit plans for this addition, we would re-review that to make sure the seating capacity they're showing matches the parking that they're also showing. Uh, the 15,000 is to give them an upward limit to add a little more if possible. And if they find a way to go beyond that, with perhaps adding some additional properties, then they would need to come back through for another CUP request. Commissioner, any questions for staff? <clears throat> There being none, anyone here this evening wishing to speak in favor of this request can come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request come forward. Good evening, sir. State your name and your address for the record, please. David Adams, Pastor Mike. Is this, oh, hold on, sir. Is this Mike on? No. Thank you, sir. David Adams. You state your address, sir. I'm sorry. My address is 2846 Fairley Drive, uh, 3160. Excellent. And uh, I am a pastor uh, at this church, and we've been there uh, 118 years. The old building is uh, a wood frame building, and it's slowly deteriorating. So we're looking forward in the future to. Uh, Stay where we are and add additional room to it. So we're going to plan on building the sanctuary, the new sanctuary in the grassy area that you see um, adjacent 
where we were added to the fellowship hall. And we actually own uh, another lot on the other side of the house. So if we did need additional parking in the future, we already have that lot. And if we need to purchase some other we can do that because we already own a lot on the other side of the house. So we're just looking to stay in the community and work with the community. <laughs> do what churches want to do in the city without moving out in the county. Mm -hmm. So your, your existing sites where is the oldest building? Yes. You have any plans for that going forward? Uh, we plan to demolish that in you know, some time. Mm -hmm. more than that. Put it there. Mm -hmm. well, maybe mm -hmm. part of it will be part of it. Right. Commissioners, any questions for the presenter? I have one, Mr. Chairman. The parking, the existing parking across the street, you're currently using that. Yes. Okay, and you'll let your attention to continue to use that parking. It's Correct. not going to be for building. No. Okay. And like I said, we do actually have another lot on the other side of that house. Okay. Okay, so it's the house and we have it here. Appreciate you very much, sir. Thanks for coming. We do have some other members of our church. Anyone else wish to just come speak in favor or welcome to come to the microphone? Thank you, sir. If no one else is wishing to speak in favor, is anyone here wishing to speak against this request? Anyone here wishing to speak against this request at this time, come forward. There being none, I will close this part of the this case. Commissioners, any discussion on this before we ask for a, a vote on it? Just a quick clarification. Well, actually, it's, uh, it's not a question of African Americans, but are they aware of the 15,000 square foot? Yeah, is that acceptable? I believe it is. They'll have to speak for that themselves, but it's beyond what they're already proposing for the site. Mr. Adams, did you hear the question presented by Commissioner Gladden? Did you repeat that? One of the conditions that staff has put here on the application is uh, that uh, is that the future site is that the total square footage of the site is 15,000 square feet. And I just wanted to, to verify that you are aware of that condition of it. Yes, it is. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Kim McFadden. Commissioners, any discussion on this before I ask for a motion? <clears throat> it is time I will ask for a motion on this particular case. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, yes, regarding CU 2018 03. Yes, sir. I move the commission approve this case as per recommendation by staff and include any conditions staff may have put forth in their report. Yes, I have a motion, Mr. Hightower. Second. Got a second in discussion. We'll ask for a vote on the motion in the second. There being none, all in favor, say by raise your right hand. Mr. Everett, that is unanimous. Thank you very much, ma'am. Now, before I start,